we are not saying that all schools will be open on April 12th. That is not the case. What we're saying is that any school that's ready, any school that feels that, you know, we have everything in place and we want to begin to bring our students back can begin to do so in phases. There's a form to be filled out. It's a simple form and it collects first the demographics on the school. So we know um, what district you're in, what kind of school, what, what's your level. And then it asks the school to give us information on how they want to return. So what groups will come back? Um, and the groups can really be, um, it's, it's at the discretion of the school. If it's a high school, for example, the high school can choose to bring back fourth formers first, or they can do first formers because first formers have never been on the campus of their school. Or a primary school might say, um, we'll bring back standard six students or we'll bring back standard one student. So we can do a, a literacy screening and start to work with them to see how well they're reading. Um, or schools can also choose to bring back maybe the students who are the weakest academically because they're going to need the most support to be brought back up to level. Or the school might decide that we'll bring back all the students, but we'll do it in shifts. We cannot say, for example, we have a school with 500 students and we're gonna open the gates and 500 will come back every day from eight to three, because that's not gonna happen. That's not gonna be allowed. 